This is a Wearark HW40 PCA and I've had it for a while, I've done a video on it and because I've got, my eyes ain't great and shooting with glasses as anyone knows is difficult and although the sights on this gun are actually very good, the open sights, I ain't been using it as much as I'd like to because that's a little bit of a pain to be honest so um, I saw these red dot sights, there's a nickel sterling um, come in this little box, it's a uh, one by twenty by thirty red dot and MCRD. So it's nickel nickel sterling red dot. Um, ten quid from a local gun shop. Uh, you can get them online, sort of ten ninety nine, eleven ninety nine. Uh, cheap and cheerful. Is it any good? Let's find out. So this is the ten quid red dot sight. Uh, nickel sterling. Um, got it all set up. This top bit is a little bit um, sort of uh, loose. Um, I tried wedging it up sort of put it out, it doesn't seem so bad now to be honest um, anyway so um, I don't know if it's a dot design thing but as you look through it the dot um, the higher up the screen you have it, the fatter that get and more sort of and as you bring the dot down to the centre of the screen that seems to get smaller as if that's a sort of an aid as an aim. And I don't know if that's right or if that's just how it is um, but if that's a design feature it's pretty cool, if that's not bonus up and down left and right very lightweight wouldn't put it on a springer rifle where it's getting a lot of shock but for this hw40 which is single stroke pneumatic if you haven't seen it before to cock it you just pull it up you put your pellet in there and it compresses when you press it down it's got automatic safety um, and the trigger on this is insanely nice and smooth and very light um, fairly quiet um, I did make a 3d printed silencer adapter uh, so you can put an ordinary silencer on it i can't show putting that on on the video because uh, youtube don't like that i've also got this 3d printed one where you just literally shove it in the end again i can't show myself putting that on that does actually work that's okay but you have to take it out each time you cock the gun because otherwise you'll, you'll snap the end off it um so um, as fairly quiet as it is anyway, it's very accurate, I think that's, we'll give it a par test, I think that's about two and a half foot pound, which for an air pistol these days is actually quite good. So um, I'm happy, um, I sighted it in, uh, we're going to take it outside in a bit, I'm going to let Daz have a good shoot on it, if he want to tweak the sights, get it more tuned in, he can, his eyesight is better than mine, get him to have a go on it, give an opinion, and um, hopefully I'll be using this gun a lot more with a sight on, so um, let's take it outside, um, we'll get Daz shooting it, um, see what he think. Right and Daz, HW40 mate, take yeah. it away. Um, At the range. Have you ever shot this gun? Yeah, a few times. Yeah, not a lot though, have you? No. I tell you, once I put that sight on mate, I was out here for ages having a pop on it. Great fun. Accurate. Um, not too noisy. 177, cheap to run. You can get a Beeman version of this gun for half the price. Mm. And I've, I've looked at them side by side and you can tell the difference in quality, but if you're on a budget, Brilliant gun, either, either model. Yay! The trigger is so light on this. In it, mate. I, I've, I've shot that off. I've done a, what's it called, discharge? Despot. No, what's it called? Uh, Accidental discharge. No, it's, a, it's another word Premature for it. Premature ejaculation. No, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> negligent discharge. Oh, yeah, right. I've done many negligent discharges with it. Keep your finger well away from that trigger. In fact, keep the safety on until you're virtually ready to shoot it. Very light action. It's not a fault. That's how it is. I don't know if the beaming is as good. Probably not, but. What are you going for? At Christmas or that. Oh, you hit the grey thing, you're shooting a bit high there. Yeah, it's a bit, so off, it's getting, it's it's a getting bit get off putting when it goes big and small. Mm. Like you need to get it to a tiniest dart you can. So the dart is in the middle of the screen there enough. And I say I don't help with the rounds there being a bit dark. Also, you forget that as free holding, um, 
you're not resting on nothing, so... I think that fully broke back out of me then. What if you um, get in the shed a bit and rest? Rest up and suffer. I'm just not sure that's uh, meant to be doing that. I don't know, mate. That's seemed a bit weird to me. I, I was using it, I, I got used to it, whether that's a fault, I mean 10 quid I didn't expect right. too much. Try the uh, the rat or the crow. I, that should have enough energy to to knock it down. I say we'll give it a test in a minute. Uh, I think that's around two and a half foot pound. Go for the rat, mate. Free hand tune. That's that's not bad. Reset, yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah, they're harder to reset than knock down. You hit it, mate. That just didn't move oh, enough. Right. Yeah. Alright, shall we do a, do a power test? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what's the weight on them? That's the same uh, as the, well, the, as same the, same as the last one, yeah. yeah, so you might as well just. 2.21. Um, yeah. 2.6. 2.6. Pretty um, consistent, which you'd expect from yeah. a pneumatic gun. For those who don't know, single stroke pneumatic, I mean, that's just compressed air. A bit like a PCP, but you're just compressing it with a hand stroke, similar to the pump up guns. Um, they work on the same principle, but this is just a single stroke. Um, and be careful not to get your t shirt all in it. Yeah, all your palm and skin on the palm yeah. of your hand. 2.28. Right. right, this is your Warwick uh, HW40 PCA. 177 and uh, very nice shooting gun triggers very very light um, break on you very easily at the site with the 10 quid sorry Des what do you reckon That's 10 quid's worth yeah like if you aren't putting on the springer because the springer will rattle these things to bits um, it's fine I think that's ugly as hell yeah. But like I say, because of my glasses and stuff, I hardly shot the gun because that was just too well, much trouble. But I quite like it now, I've been using it. That's meant to be um, held close up to your eye, that's not a long right. re eye relief. Right. So, so it'll look better to you closer, yeah? Oh, that's but a pinprick of light. And yeah, it's fairly good close up. Yeah, you know how we do that? You know how we do that? That hooked arm yeah. method. Just show that on yeah. camera, mate. Which. Uh, yeah, I find that really comfortable to shoot like that, to be honest. How that look like that? Yeah, it's just pinprick, so. Yeah. But I was just. Yeah, I'd, yeah, like, yeah. Shooting a lot of pistol like you would, but. That's, that's a tennis worth, yeah, mate. I might be worth it for a tennis, yeah, to be mate, honest. Does the job, um, there's a Crossman one, very similar. Um, I was going to get one the same, of them. Mate. They're 25 quid, though. Yeah. And I was thinking, is it going to be any They all come better? from the same Chinese factory. That's what I was thinking. They've yeah. just got their own different little logo yeah. put on the side of it, you so know. So that's a nickel still, and you can get them yeah. between 10 and 15 like quid. Like Nico, what, what are the other ones that are really cheap? Optic, like that. Yeah. Other one I got yeah. on the Gamel, yeah. Like, they are all hit and miss, but the last two cheap sites you've bought been alright, haven't you? So Other than that, one I got off eBay, that, that red dot. Just got destroyed on one shot, yeah. yeah. I will actually show that. I was going to set that up on that gun, actually, to yeah. see if I could hit Barn Door with it, but we'll do that another day, mate. Yeah, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. You know what, what helps the algorithms and all that. So, uh, yeah, come back for the next one.